In this video, we will see how to model 1D and 2D members in Midas engine. 1D members are 1D elements that include the beam, column, subbeams, subcolumns, and brace members. These members are linear and defined by two nodes. They can make use of the distance between the two nodes and other geometrical information like section properties. Braces are primarily used for representing truss elements having one degree of freedom and beams and column members are frame elements having six degrees of freedom at each node. There are several ways in which we can model our members. To model beams in the 3D mode, we can go to the member tab, beam, and provide the coordinates, x, y, z coordinates for the starting and end point. Firstly, we'll have to select the member set, the story set, and the section property. And then, we'll go ahead and provide the coordinates. We can even snap on to 0, 0 location. Make it 5 meters. Pressing tab, I go to the next coordinate definition. 0. And then the Z coordinate, which will be again 0. Then I can press enter to finish my definition. We can also have these beams drawn in perpendicular direction, that is direction following the X, Y, Z axis only, by checking on this orthogonal option on. This is how we can draw the beams. In the plane mode, select a particular plane. And then by using these grids, we can click and create our beams. By using this auto intersect option, the program can help us divide the beams automatically because of the intersecting beam. That's how we can draw in the plane mode. Story mode is similar to the plane mode. All we have to do is create the stories and go on to different levels and create our beams. Columns can be created. We can, we can check on auto intersect, check on orthogonal and create our column. So from here, and only the Z coordinate will be on now. And we can provide 3 meters distance in the negative direction, so minus 3, and enter. Another way of creating the column member is by using two points tool. By using this two points tool, we can go to the top view and snap on one starting point and the opposite corner. Uncheck the orthogonal direction. Click on the second point. After we click on the second point, the column is automatically generated. No need to click on apply. Similarly, we can create a circular column with one central point and a point on the circumference. By just clicking on the second point, our entire circular column is generated. We can also create columns by using one point. One point as in we have to, in this case, select the section property and then simply click on different points, any point on which we want to apply our columns. Could be at any random location as required. We can also create the column by using by polygon tool. By using this by polygon tool, we can easily generate a general section column. We need not create uh, an irregular section property as such. Just simply select the material property and create the polygon. And click on apply. So as you can see over here, a general section property has automatically been created by simply drawing the section. Now, the difference between creating the braces as a beam type and just creating a beam is firstly the design. If we have the member as braces, then the design of the braces will accordingly be performed. Secondly, in the modeling part, when we go to the member and 
click on brace to create the brace and uh, we are using any type of let's say brace which is a beam type so here we we select any property section property and now we will go to draw now when we are drawing the members that time we have checked on auto intersect option but when it comes to abrasives this option will not work we can uncheck the orthogonal and create the braces and even though I'm intersecting the other brace we'll see over here that auto intersect option has not worked for brace type of members so that is one interesting part regarding modeling of brace members in Midas engine let us now see how to model 2d members in Midas engine We'll start with some special members. Under the beam, we have got plate beam type of member. This element is a 2D element that behaves like a plate. However, the output and design is like a beam member. Few common applications of beam plate member are in case of drop slab, where the slab is connected at the bottom of the beam. Second, transfer level beams where the beams are deep and third when there are different slab levels as shown over here drawing a plate beam is similar to beams we go to the beams and click on plate beam and by just clicking on two points we can create a plate beam before we create the plate beam with two points we need to look at the member set story set and the thickness so we have got over here 300 thickness with a concrete property then we need to also provide the depth of our plate beam here the distance between these two is 2 meters so I'll provide depth as 2 meters and then we can use coordinate in XYZ direction to provide the start and the end point so instead of using the coordinates we can simply go to the plane view plane mode and we'll go to the member plate beam provide 2 meters depth and simply click on the intersections we can go to the 3d and we can see over here how the plate beams have been created after we perform the analysis we can see the mesh generated for the plate beam and the nodal connectivity between the plate beams and the slab members is maintained accordingly another special member is a 2d member that acts like a wall but gives output and designs like a column this member is wall column under the column drop down we can select wall column in the 3D mode, we need to select the superstructure, the story set it belongs to and the thickness of our wall column. So we, have, we can select 300 over here and then we can provide the coordinates for its four nodes. Here, we can also snap onto the points, four points and create our wall column. Similarly, we can click on four points and create wall column in plane mode and by two points we can create the wall column in story mode. When it comes to a wall member, basically, it is a special type of member that is used for sheer wall design. In Midas engine, the walls need not have any ID. There are three types of elements in wall member type. Wall membrane with no stiffness in minor axis that is thickness direction mesh analysis is not performed second is the wall plate not meshed with stiffness in all directions and mesh analysis is not performed when mesh analysis is not performed the walls are basically comprised of rigid beams at top and bottom connected by white column in between this helps in reducing the time in analysis taken for meshing during the analysis. The third type of wall member is 
the wall plate meshed this is a member with stiffness in all directions and mesh analysis is performed walls not mesh type of members would give near accurate results for high rise stories whereas for short stories wall mesh type of member is recommended there are various ways to model walls as per selected modeling techniques when we have to create walls in a story then we can go to the story mode at the level which is the bottom of the wall then we can use member walls and select walls from here we can use by two points tool and click on two points to create our wall for that we need to select the thickness of the wall so we can click on two points and easily generate the wall we can create curved walls by using arc by three points or arc by center and two points arc by three points is simply by clicking on the start point end point and the central point here we need to modify the thickness of the wall after assigning we can click and change the thickness we can trace the walls in story mode as well in Midas engine we can model the slab members slab members can be designed using rigid beam theory to model slabs we can go to the member tab and click on slab then we can select the member set the story set the thickness of the slab and the type of element for the slab member there are two types of slab members one is defined by slab membrane this only transfers the loads and is used for slab design by codes we can apply only slab load on this member the second one is plate out in this type of slab is included in analysis and design is performed based on plate forces we can draw the slab by simply using by select tool and selecting the periphery beams the preview will be shown over here and by clicking on apply and continue the slab will be automatically generated but we can also draw the slab by using by draw tool in this case we need not have the slab as a rectangular itself we can make it into any shape and then click on apply the slab membrane type will be only rectangular if the slab is of irregular shape it will be plate out in mesh lastly we have plate type of elements this element has 5 degrees of freedom at every node and while performing the analysis Midas engine takes care of the rotational constraints between 1D and 2D elements this member can be used for any purpose since it considers stiffness in all directions the design shall be based on plate forces and we can model it by using select tool uh, same as slab and wall or we can draw the plate by using the periphery nodes so this is how we can model 1d and 2d members in midas engine